Hi friends! The most important qualities for the yarn are its strength and elongation. Because the yarn is exposed to many tensional forces until it becomes a fabric, in order to produce a textile surface or a product, the yarn must be able to withstand these tensions during the production process. And a textile surface or the yarn as a textile product should also be resistant to extensive loads and tensions while being utilized by users as well. The required minimum strength of the yarn varies according to the different application areas. The yarn should be produced in accordance with these strength values. Therefore, it is very important to check the strength values and to determine whether the values are in accordance with qualifications at production stages, such as when the yarn is the semi-product or it becomes a product. It wouldn't be true to define the yarn strength only as the maximum force that the yarn can resist without breaking off. Because the thick yarn, which has more fibers in its profile, will show more resistance against greater forces. Hence, the inference that the low-quality yarn breaks off with little force and high-quality yarn breaks off with greater force is not true. Therefore, the number of the yarn should be considered while talking about the yarn strength. Firstly, our device must be prepared for the test. The device has two nippers. One of them is the lower nipper, which is inactive. The upper nipper is the one which moves at a fixed speed. Firstly, the distance between the two nippers is set to 500 millimeters in accordance with the standard. And then the speed of the upper nipper is set to 500 millimeters per minute. Then the calibration settings are done according to the device operating instructions and then our sample is placed into the nippers. The sample is firstly placed in the upper nipper and then in the lower nipper. The suitable tension according to the yarn number is given. Consequently, the test is started by pressing the arrow button up. The test continues until the break-off happens. The elongation and strength values at the break-off moment are read on the device screen and registered on the related forms. After the testing process has been repeated with enough numbers of samples, the arithmetic mean and the standard deviation are taken as the result.